everybody, welcome back to OTP. Back on the three Spurs boys. I know we took a little bit of a break, but we're back. And obviously, as we always do, we come back with some very, very special guests all the way down from America, from Colorado, Leo and Parker from the Mile High Hotspur. Hello. Hi, guys. Hey. hey. What's going How are on, you? lads? We're good. How are you? Good, 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 good. Excited yeah. to be on the show with you guys. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. I want to come over and just rip that Eric Dyer poster off, or that uh, picture off the wall just because he just played so <laughs> terrible today. Or yes, it was a couple days ago, I guess now. Tickle yes. Welcome back. I know you like Eric Dyer. I, uh, Bobby has told me that before that you love Eric Dyer. So, um, I love him. So I said that on purpose just to get a reaction out of you. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. It's an honor to have you on the show. Oh, you want to get your... There you go. Sunny. That's a little better. That's a little better. No. Oh, but not too much better, honestly, oh. as of late. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to get straight into it. Can you uh, maybe please explain... Why you um? Ex- <laughs> can you please explain the name of your channel and why you picked it? It's Leo. Yeah, so um, I had the crazy idea to start a YouTube channel, and I actually presented it to Parker. And being as we both go to the same pub to watch the games, and we're both part of Colorado Spurs, uh, we both decided that you know we'll both uh, take that leap and 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 to try it. And uh, the reason why we're called Mile High Hotspur is because we we live in Denver, Colorado, which is known as the Mile High City. Uh, oh, okay. it's, uh, it's, uh, 5,280 feet above sea level. Like I like to say in our intros to our podcast. Um, so we're exactly a mile high above sea level. So that's, uh, and it just rolls off the tongue pretty smoothly mile high hotspur, you know, and being yeah. as, uh, we're the only podcast in Denver that's Tottenham hotspur related. Um, I just thought that it was a fitting name. Mm. Yeah. It's really cool. We it's agree. Really good name. Thank you. Uh, can you please tell us how you like why you began to support Spurs and who is your most favorite player to watch other than Eric Dyer? <laughs> uh, I'll start. Um, I'll just go first. Uh, so I started watching uh, football about um, 11 years ago. Uh, my older brother got me into it and he was a Chelsea fan. And, you know, I started watching the games with him a little bit, but I ne- it never really felt right with me. It never resonated with me like the way. Um, they bought players and the way they, um, they sacked their managers and stuff like that. And it just, it just didn't feel right for me. And after watching, um, you know, probably like a half of a season, uh, I transitioned to, um, Tottenham and, um, and it's been a roller coaster ride since I'll be honest. Um, sometimes it makes me question my decisions. Um, (laughs) but uh, I don't know. Um, I've been, it's been a great, uh, ride though. Um, I love Tottenham and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I love the club so much. So, um, and it's just yeah. one of those clubs that it's going to make you, uh, wait for, um, for glory, right. You're not, it's not going to be just like an overnight thing. Um, and I just, yeah. I can't wait for the, t- for the moment or the time where we finally win something and, um, that'll yeah. just make it all up, you know, that'll mean everything to me. So. Yeah. Hopefully I, that time comes soon. Yeah. I hope, I hope, I, I, I hope we win something in my lifetime. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> I hope so too. I hope so too. Um, I became a Spurs fan back in uh 2010. Um, I was watching Premier League with my friends for a couple years before then, and um, I'm not gonna lie, I've I've said this before. When I got into soccer, football, I uh, started kind of gradually watching a lot more Manchester United and Liverpool and even Arsenal games at that, just because those are the bigger, the bigger uh, teams out here where we live at. And um, for some odd reason, when I would watch Tottenham play, I just really liked the way they played. And uh, they ended up buying this uh, wonderful player by the name of uh, Raphael van der Vaart, 
who changed it all for me when I would see him play with the Spurs. And ever since then, um, I just always have supported Spurs. Um, and uh, like my partner said, it's been definitely a roller coaster ride up and down. Um, but look, I much rather support a team uh, like the one we support you guys instead of supporting the team that, uh, you know, has plastic fans. Yeah. Instant gratifications kind of thing, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, do you guys want to know a fun fact? Yeah, um, of did course. You know, did you know Leo's been supporting Tottenham one year more than I have? Oh, same with okay. me. I'm right well. there with you. He's one year ahead of me. <laughs> Actually, he's been watching it for a little longer, but I think he's just started supporting Tottenham in 2011. Yeah. Is that right? I, su- I started supporting <laughs> Tottenham 2011, January 15th. Wow. Okay. Man, he specific. narrows it down. Yeah. <laughs> Big up. Who's your favorite player back from then? Um, Who's your favorite player from the 2011 squad, Chris? I have to say... No, no, let me think about it. Let me think about uh, it. Let me think about I mean, it. You put him on blast, big brother. <laughs> let me think about it. Let me think about it. You know, no, you're not allowed to look for that. Mine's uh, Michael Dawson. Let's Michael go, Dawson. Michael Dawson. Michael Dawson. Danny Rose. I love Michael Dawson. Where did he He's play? My favorite player. What country is he from? I have England, obviously. Where did you play? No, don't look at that. <laughs> Center back. Oh, cheater. Obviously. Cheater. Ooh. Um, who has been one of your favorite guests on the channel and why? Hmm. Oh no, wait. No, no, sorry. Not me. Trust me. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. That's for later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now, this one is actually the most important one here. Yep. So, all the other ones don't really matter. This one we're going to have Leo to start off with. Who is your favorite superhero and why? Mm. Ooh. Oh, is my what? I'm sorry? Favorite superhero and why? Ooh, my favorite superhero would have to be Spider-Man. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, just because uh he uh you know he, he he's able to maneuver with his webs um and uh he's very agile something that i'm not and something that i wish i was mm-hmm. and uh you know to be able to squeeze into that suit which i can't do um, <laughs> and so i have to pick i have to pick uh, uh spider-man mm. now what about parker you know what i hate to copy leo but spider-man is 100 percent my favorite um for multiple reasons, obviously Peter Parker. The name is just he has my name. Uh, so people have called me um, Spider Man is like a nickname growing up, and um, like even in Spanish, uh, I've worked at like restaurants and stuff, and even the people in the back would just call me uh, Hombre Araña, stuff like that. So, <laughs> which means Spider Man. Uh, but um, I just I just resonate with his personality. Like he's kind of shy and stuff, and he kind of just like I just relate to him a little bit, and and his. His lover is Mary Jane, and I also have a lover, Mary Jane. So, <laughs> oh, that is a lot in common. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I think something's going wrong with the connection, I'm... Captain America. Actually, mm-hmm. I thought it was Deadpool. That's a vigilante. Yeah, see, and then that's another thing too. Is there's just so there's just so many to choose from, you know. I didn't know, you know, what the what, what the yeah. parameters of the question were, but but no, I stick with my answer. Stick with my answer. You're right. Deadpool is a vigilante. He's not a superhero. So, uh, yeah. My You're my right. second favorite superhero is Gareth Bale because he bailed us out um, in 2012 from like pretty much getting res- relegated. Because if it wasn't for Gareth Bale. Um, my favorite superhero is Iron Man. If you guys wanted to know, who? Oh, okay, Iron Man. There. Oh, and what about okay. you, Big K? Iron, no, Iron Man. Iron Man. Oh, Iron Man. Okay, sorry, sorry. I think there's something wrong with the what, connection. What, what there's something wrong with what the What about you, Dad? Yeah. Dad, what's your favorite? Superman. Mm. I thought it was Hulk. Yeah. You've been seeing Hulk for like twelve years of my life, oh. and I'm twelve. I'm old now. I forget. Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> um, who has been one of your favorite guests on your channel and why? 
Um, uh, so I, I mean, I'll go first. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, one of my favorite guests to have on, um, and this is no disrespect to your pops, who's always on and a wonderful guest. Um, but you know, one unique um, favorite had to have been um, Jack Knicky, uh, just because he's a uh, the the way he uh, presents the Irish Hotspur show um, is just uh, and his stats and his knowledge for for different aspects of the game is definitely yeah. just. Uh, you know, bar none. So, and he's, it's always a good conversation with Jack. So Jack Kanicki probably was one of my, my funnest um, conversations that we had. Um, yeah. Okay. What about you, Parker? Uh, for me, um, I, I really like having Bobby on. I know he's here and listening, but he always makes me laugh too. And um, he's always just a fun guest to have on. Um, so yeah, he's, he's, fun to have on i think and then obviously ellie i like having ellie on because she has a lot of um history that she um likes to talk yeah. about too and uh i just always learn a little bit and she's on so so yeah i would say those two people yeah well if i may add like like, uh, like uh, oh yeah that's fair that's fair i just want to add like a side note too you know um digital spurs is is is, is a it was a cool uh so that we had as well too yeah absolutely the connection is really really bad it's like i'm i'm either skipping or oh i hear you good. Like we're gonna... i think it's we're gonna try something sorry for all the fans i know leo are you there I'm here, homie. Oh, okay. You were just really, like, still. Yeah. I thought you were frozen, too. No, I'm, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm just being still, brother. <laughs> it's frozen right now. The stream is frozen. Um, but anyway, Leo, our, can we make it to an FA Cup semi-final? This year, or even a final? Uh, this is off the pitch, bro. I don't know. It's off the pitch. I, I don't know what we talk about off the pitch. Oh my gosh, they are really frozen right now. <laughs> little K, big K, little K, frozen. Papa K. So if, if do you think people <laughs> do you think like like people watching can still hear us though? No, this is a this is a pre-recorded, oh, oh, bro. Never mind. Oh, it is. Oh, that's right. I oh, oh. That. can you hear us? Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, I think we can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, I can see you guys and hear you. Oh, they're like, there's something wrong with the Wi-Fi. Very bad. <laughs> yeah, it is bad. <laughs> you know, if we had Eric Dyer here right now, he could have defended us from this massacre. But no, we don't. No, he'd get. He would make you slower. Even <laughs> he'd make your oh, Wi-Fi yeah. slower. You... Oh, there we are. Back again. You see, as soon as I brought a pair of dire fix, that's all I gotta say. Soon. That's, that's true. Okay. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Where did he leave off? Hold on. Um. Quick fire. Oh yeah, no, we we're talking about favorite guests. No, we favorite guests. Oh, yeah, we were. Sorry. So we were talking about how Statman Jack was the best guest to ever yeah. appear on my High Hot mm. And we don't, you know, Bobby K wasn't good enough to show up on OTP, so. Yeah, we have to kick him out. Bobby K is a wonderful yeah. guest, though, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's he's one of my favorite guests to have, but I didn't want to just, you know, make him feel all up and up because I'm choosing him like Parker did, <laughs> but I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, like, I'm just being honest. Like, yeah. I would have said that for on anybody's channel. Um. Now we got a game for you guys. Quick fire. Huh? Oh, nice. Quick fire. Little K is gonna give you two options. You guys have to pick. He will give you points depending on how fast you are and how much he likes it. Good luck. Oh, no. Sounds good. This is scary. Are you guys ready for quick fire? Dun, dun, dun. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, 
So I'm just going to tell you some questions. Leo, you're first. Oh, wait. yeah. Yes, okay. sir. Spider Man or Venom? Spider Man. Okay. You got to speed it up, Leo. Quick fire me. Okay. <laughs> now, Parker, Spider Man or Venom? Spider Man. What? <laughs> I said Spider Man really, really quick. Did you get that? <laughs> oh. oh, sorry, 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 Parker, that doesn't count. Sorry, mate. Okay, because I already knew what you were going to ask, so that was kind of cheap. <laughs> there, there's 10 each. There's 10 each. Sorry. All right, Leo, American football or baseball? Baseball. Okay. Coke or Pepsi? For Leo? Oh, uh, yeah, all Leo. All Leo. All Leo. And then I'll say. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, Coke. Okay. Ooh, that was fast, me. Super speed or super strength? Super speed. Yeah. Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Milk chocolate. <laughs> okay, me. Oh. Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Ooh. Messi is better, in my opinion. Bocce. Mm. Orange or peach? Orange. Okay, okay. Ferrari or Lamborghini? Lamborghini. Oh, it's four. Skydiving or bungee jumping? Skydiving. Ooh. Taco or burrito? Tacos. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to add all these up and then we're going to. Par Actually, no. I'll just do Parker, then I'll add them up. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. So now these are all going to be Parkers. Skiing or snowboarding? Snowboarding. Snowboarding. Ice cream or cake? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ooh. Soda or juice? Juice. Iron Man or Captain America? Captain America. Sorry, I know. Oh, I should have said the Iron Man because I know you like them. McDonald's or Burger King? Uh, McDonald's. Okay. Snow White or Cinderella? Snow White, 100%. That was ability my show. To fly? Ability to fly or, or invisibility? Oh, um, fly. Uh, fly. Roberto Carlos or Cafu? Roberto Carlos. Yeah. Ketchup or hot sauce? Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Peanut butter or uh, peanut butter, crunchy or smooth? Crunchy. Okay, I'm gonna add them up now. I think I lost because I, I picked uh, Captain America. I think that's gonna be the, my downfall. I'm right just gonna tell you right now. Yeah, you did. Oh. <laughs> I should have said Captain. Or I should have said. Pick up. Yeah. No, 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 if you had asked me. If you had asked me a couple of years ago about Ronaldo or Messi, I probably would have went the other way. But you know, as I get older and and I watch and I watch uh, you know football more, I just know Messi is is a cut above. Yeah, and we're talking about the them in their prime, fun. not like right now, right? Or just overall in their whole career. Overall, yeah, yeah. Then definitely Messi. Ronaldo's Let's go. better. Has one more Champions League than Barcelona in general. Yeah, that's um, true. That's a good point. What man. other sports other than American football and English football do you like to watch the most? <laughs> do you like you, to watch? I love uh, college basketball. That was um, like the first sport I started watching when I was like a kid. So it was just always on TV. Um, and I didn't really get into soccer or football, like, um, you know, soccer until, um, you know, like 2011, like we were talking about earlier. So. College yeah. basketball is was one of is one of my favorite sports. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what about you, Leo? 
Yeah, I used to play hockey a lot. Um, I was actually really good at hockey. I probably could have went to college playing hockey. Um, and who oh, knows, probably could have went. Probably could have went further than that. But uh, back then, I was really afraid of flying, and so I didn't want to really be, you know, having a job where I flew a lot. So that was one of the biggest reasons that. And uh, I injured my knee snowboarding, so that's oh. why sports kind of took a back road after that. Didn't you skateboard as well, Leo? Yeah, and I used to skateboard. Those yeah. are like two I, of the know, hardest sports, I think. Uh, skateboarding yeah. and uh, hockey, like those are hard to play, dude. And we used to we used to have sponsorships, uh, snowboarding and skateboarding. You know, we used to get free stuff, free boards. Uh, we used to get free merch, uh, snowboarding. We used to do the same thing get get to go snowboarding for free and get new boards and stuff like that. And uh, ended up in a magazine once. Um, but yeah, yeah just I hurt myself, and ever since then, uh, I. I I can't do it anymore, you know. Dang. Yeah. Our uncles went to Colorado to go skiing one time. Oh, what is that? Yeah. It's of course. And there is a big difference. <laughs> okay, oh, no. so Leo, you won. I have to, I have to say right now, Parker, that Iron Man thing did set you down a lot. A lot. Yeah, I figured. you got like all right. So you did really good, but you got minus one on everything because you didn't say Iron Man. Oh. And Leo, because you did say Messi, I gave you a plus two on one thing, but not all of them. That's so cool. the scores are Parker with twenty eight out of fifty, and Leo with forty out of fifty. Oh. Nice, big up, big up. Oh man. So Parker, if you didn't get that um, Iron Man wrong, you would have got thirty-eight. And Leo, if you didn't get that bonus, you would have got thirty-eight too. Thirty-eight. There you go. Oh. Well, so close. Those are the little things that that separate us, Parker. They gotta be careful. Yeah. Pay attention to the Iron Man. Honestly, all yep. your questions, I agreed with like almost everything you said. So <laughs> it's okay, Parker. There's still another game later on. You could redeem yeah. yourself. Okay. Cool. Uh, but right now, for Quick fire. Leo is the highest so far in all of the shows we've done. Starting. Get in. All right. So. Now I have a question for you guys, but this time we're starting with Parker. If you were uh if you were astronauts, what planet would you visit first and why? Mm. Oh, that's a good one. So I think first. I would visit Mars probably or no. Uh, Mars? Yeah. Mars. Just, it's, it's the closest, right? Like, so it's, I think it's like closest to us. So you got to go somewhere close first. Um, and I think like millions of years ago, it, it could have potentially have been inhabitable. So it would have, I think I've just kind of interested in that, um, that planet. Cause it's also, you know, farther away from the sun where it can actually um, people, not people maybe, but like some sort of living can live there, some sort of uh, life. So <clears throat> that's where I would go. Yeah, Mars. Well, and it cool. has a cool name some sort too. Of living. <laughs> some sort of living? What? You said some sort of living? Some sort of life? Some sort of life. Sorry, guys. Well, yeah, I yeah, don't know. Sorry, like, guys. Some sort of li like living being or like living creature can live there. How about that? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Now, Leo. Some sort of living. Um, <laughs> is is the moon okay of an answer? I would definitely love to go to the moon just because. I, um, I they. It's not a planet, but I'll I'll let it slide. But you also have to pick a planet. Okay, cool. Well, I just want to give my reasoning for the moon uh, because supposedly we have or may or may not have been there before. But the thing is, we haven't been there again. So I would like to see why we haven't been there again. Um, I'd like to see what's there. Um, as far as a planet, I definitely would have to go check out Saturn just because I would have to pass a few planets to get yeah. there. And I would like to see the rings and stuff like that. I think it would be an awesome site to be able to... Uh, I guess I've, at that point, I'd be the first one ever to go there. So I, I would I would definitely love to go to Saturn. Now it would take you like a few hundred years to get there. but <laughs> yeah, oh, There's this um, uh, Titan. 
a moon on Mar on Jupiter. One of the yeah, moons on Jupiter has water and everything. It's, it's habitable. habitable yeah. yeah, it's crazy. I'd love to see that. Yeah, same. Oh, wow. I, I would like to go there, but my must visit is um I forget the name. It's like JB something. So it's, it's not even in our solar system, but it um, has like okay. big big boy rings. <laughs> I think it'd be cool to see a planet with rings. What's it called? I want to look it up because I'm interested. Uh, it's something like JB. Um, I could tell you right now, but I don't have my tablet on me. Uh, so I I'll, 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 I'll tell you after the stream. It's Ooh, called Super Saturn. Saturn. It's considered Saturn. Super Saturn because it has the huge rings. Yeah, I see it. Well, that's a small planet with the really... Yeah, yeah I see that. That's really cool. All right, now time to go back to Tottenham. Would you like to see a change in the ownership? Yes. If yes, why? Parker? Oh, yes. A hundred percent. I think, oh man, so many things, but I think we do spend the money, but we're spending it the wrong way. So we need to figure out, we need to have better recruitment and um, spend that, spend the money that we are spending better. Um, and yeah, I mean, like it's just, the way we spend is just not good. I mean, and that's what owners are supposed to do is their yeah. spending is supposed to be, um, you know, that's what they're supposed to do. And uh, it just hasn't been up to par. I feel like all of our players are pretty much bang average uh, besides like Kane. So that's how I feel. But yeah. What about you, Leo? Um, I would definitely like to see a change in the ownership. I think, the common denominator in all of our seasons and as far as our problems go and, you know, and our lack of, of growing, uh, always stem down to, um, the ownership. Um, that's why I would like to see us have an ownership. Um, I don't know who, who, who would want that job, but I think that, I think it's time for them to start trying to get rid of the club to somebody who's gonna, you know, invest in football wise and do football decisions instead of you know i mean you guys can probably agree with me they're doing excellent stuff for the city of uh, you know for 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 the for the uh, area of tottenham you know as far as building a lot of stuff and and employing a lot of people um but they're they're neglecting the key part of that and that's our football club that needs some attention too so um yeah. i think it's time for them to pass pass that ownership on to somebody that's going to look over the uh, the whole team a lot better. Yeah. I completely agree with you there, Leo. I, I agree as well, but, but don't you think potentially we could also get somebody worse a cash pig, right? Or like a, what's the, cash cow, sorry. You're going to make a lot of money from it. The stadium, the views, the area, right? So don't you think we could get somebody like the Glazer yeah. who hasn't put this single dime on the club at all? Yeah, I mean yeah. that's always a, that's always an option too. I mean it could be definitely worse than what it is now if that's what you if that's what you're insinuating. Yeah, uh, it it could be worse than what it is for sure. Yeah, I, like I said, Daniel Levy and, and Enoch are doing an excellent job for you know Tottenham as a business, you yeah. know to grow the name Tottenham Hotspur. Um, it's just the football team where they're lacking. Yeah. It really worries yeah. me about, you know, how tough they are at negotiations. Oh and if we do sell the club, oh, my gosh, I can't even see it happening. I mean, it would be so much money. It would, you know, go – it would, you know, it would take forever. It would take, like, years and years for them to negotiate, I feel like, because yeah. 30 years or 30 days to get Poro. Um, oh, and, yeah. That was – It just worries me that they're going to ask for, like, a crazy number to sell Tottenham, like $10 yeah. billion or something. And we even needed a backup goalkeeper this January. And look at look how yeah. bite us in the back or uh, uh, shot us in the foot. We didn't buy a backup yeah. goalie. We needed one, and now we got Fraser Ford straight now. Yeah. No, and you're right. It did. It did. It came back to bite us. You know, not just with the, not just with the goalkeeper position, but with you know a lot of other uh, positions. Because we're getting yeah. so many injuries now. I mean, they just keep coming. They're dropping like flies, so yeah. Yeah. Out for the rest of the season. Huh? Yeah, and we just don't what? have any yeah. depth anymore. Yeah, we don't even have a bench hardly anymore. Who are we gonna bring? Even bring yeah. on? It's like we got yeah. Skip. We're gonna have to recall Winksy from his loan. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. 
So before we get more into football, I need to ask this question. It is very important. But not as important as the superhero one, obviously. So this time we're going to start off with Leo. Would you rather be a loved doctor or a very hated footballer, professional footballer? You don't have to repeat the question, but okay, it broke up a little bit. Sorry, mate. Would you rather be a loved doctor or a professional footballer that's hated? What's a love doctor? Like a love. Like, would you rather be loved by all for being a doctor or hated for being a professional footballer? Oh, okay. Read the question, buddy. Um, I would go for for being a loved doctor. Honestly, that means I, you know, probably could have cured diabetes. My mom has diabetes, and so I wish, you know, there was a cure for that. And I mean, maybe if I was a doctor and loved, uh, maybe that 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 you know, I'd much rather that than win any trophy. Yeah. That was my grandpa. Yeah, what about you, I agree. I mean, being a hated footballer, I mean, you could you've seen all like the abuse that some players have received and it could yeah. be a lot. I mean, it could it can make them, you know, have some mental issues and it could be too much because of the pressure to be a footballer is so high. Yeah, um, right. And it just uh, seems like that would be too much to handle, especially being a hated footballer um, on top of the pressure of, you know, playing. So, um, yeah, I can't I can't even imagine being a hated footballer. That would be miserable. Yeah. Well, now time to lift the moods. We got another game for you. Got to go fast. Lil K is going to ask you ask you a question. You got you have to answer it very fast, obviously. Got to go fast. If he likes it, he gives you points. If he doesn't, you know. He no, takes away points. Could <laughs> Parker 2.0 could happen. Good luck. All right. So, same concept as the other one. Ten questions each, but this time we're going to start with Parker. Are you guys ready for Got to Go Fast? Let's go. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's start off with it, mateys. Parker, what's your favorite planet? Mars. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Favorite current TV show? Ooh, current TV show. Um, let's see. I would say Yellowstone. Ooh, now that took a little bit a while, mate. Fast food, favorite fast food place. Chick Fil A. Oh, wow, that's five, mate. Favorite board game. Ooh, um, apples to apples. apples. Is that not really a board game? That's kind of more of a card game. I'll count it. Okay. Favorite Brazilian player ever. Favorite what now? Sorry. Brazilian player ever. Mm. Yeah. Paulinho. <laughs> Wait. Paulinho. I, I don't know who that is, but sorry. Favorite Disney movie. Snow White. Snow White. Okay, mateys. Favorite chocolate bar. I really like Crunch. Ooh, that's too many. Favorite vegetable. Asparagus. I kept that as five. Favorite color. Blue. Ooh, I love that answer, mate. Favorite dog breed? Dachshund. Dachshund. Ooh. Okay. Now we're going with Leo, the old winner, or last game's winner. Yeah. Favorite dinosaur? Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ooh. I like that one. Favorite ice cream? Neapolitan. Okay. Meetings. Favorite movie? Starface. Oh, yeah. My dad really loves that movie. Favorite card game? Spades. Mm, I, don't, I don't know what that is, but... Favorite Shrek character? Now, this one moves a lot. Donkey. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. You won already. <laughs> Favorite ocean? Atlantic. Okay, mate. 
Favorite hair color? Brown. Black. Favorite flavor of juice? Orange. Yeah. I love orange juice, mate. Favorite Italian player ever? Mmm, Baggio. Mm, Baggio. Or Baggio. <laughs> Favorite singer or band? Foreign. Three. All right, I'm going to calculate the points. Well, then Big K will give you a couple of questions, mateys. Favorite flavor of juice. <laughs> <laughs> so what are three oh wait hold on let me read that okay what are three players would you like to see come in this summer or no no what would wait, 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 wait. all right let me read that what three players would you like to see be replaced with summer there we go oh, okay let's start with uh parker since leo started last time so i want uh basically our entire back three to be replaced Dice. No. Romero? Yeah, honestly, yeah. Oh, he misses too many games with cards. I mean, like he's good. I like I like him a lot, but I mean, how many games has he missed already? I mean, for cards, and he's just letting us down. Yeah, it's a huge letdown when you miss three games in a row because you, I mean, I don't know. Um, Perisic is obviously going to be replaced. He's too old. I think he only signed a one-year deal anyway, so he's out. Uh, so that one, I guess, doesn't count. I want. I don't know, Leo. It's your turn. I already said the back three, sir. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was fair. I want Hugo Lloris to be replaced. Uh, I definitely want um, oh, yeah. Dyer. I'm sorry. I, I I want Dyer to be replaced. Um, <laughs> yep, that was appropriate. No, but, no, no. Parker also said the back three, so take him out too. Oh. Yeah, here. so uh, hello, Lil K. Welcome to the three Spurs boys. We're back with another special guest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the truth hurts sometimes there, Big K. Um, I would definitely do, and then um, the third one, yeah, I hate to say this, but but Davies, you know, maybe not sold, but replaced. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that too. Because Longe was supposed to be his replacement, but what is that? Mm -hmm. I think he, he, was Dave, to be but he hasn't been showing anything, to be honest. Davies had that uh, mistake yeah. yesterday where he passed it to some player at Leicester, and they did, then they just passed it right off for a goal. That was hard to watch. Yeah. We all had mistakes yesterday, man. Oh, my gosh. Our only good player was Benton Corr, and, and it wasn't yeah. just because of the goal. Like He also, he also had like that goal line clearance. That header, yeah, that was. But then they scored two seconds after it, so it didn't yeah, really matter. That was <laughs> my opinion. There's nothing to stop that. Oh yeah. All right, you got the points ready? Right. Yes, I did, mateys. <clears throat> so, again, kind of the same outcome. Sorry, Parker. Uh, nah, it's because I said Paulinho. You didn't know who that was. <laughs> yeah. Paulinho's the goal. <laughs> Yeah, and he said donkey for favorite Shrek character, so that got him some extra points. A lot of extra points. Oh my god! <laughs> chance to answer donkey. <laughs> <laughs> so the scores was Parker with thirty six and Leo with forty one. <laughs> Congratulations, Leo! But I, I I believe I'm not too sure. For the first person ever on our show to get a double over your partner. Oh. Um, you should celebrate your victory. But maybe maybe if we have you guys on again, maybe Parker will steal the double. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Never we'll know. Just have to wait and see. I just got to get the right questions, you know? He got the yeah. donkey question. He got the messy question both yeah. times. What is that? Blast yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give an extra question to Parker real quick, and if he answers it quick, quickly, and correctly, and correctly, he will get one point clear of Leo for this second game. Oh, that's fair. Okay, the stakes are high. Let's go. Uh, is I'm not. I'm not gonna make it easy. I'm not gonna make it easy. Okay. Who? 
is ah, it's like, I don't know. It's, I don't know the question. <sighs> really? Come on. <laughs> I got a. I got a question. It's gonna be a how, hard one. How many free kick goals do you have? Do you think I have this season so far? You? In my, in my season. Oh. I think you've you had... got to give them an over and under. Give them an over and under. You know, like a maybe. <laughs> cheating. I'm gonna guess three. <laughs> you got it. How did you get that? Oh my god! I honestly so was gonna say three before you even did this. Actually, <laughs> I really was gonna say three. Yeah, 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 sure. And that's the win. So yes. <laughs> sorry, Leo. Get out of here. Double. So sorry, fans. But there's still no double over anybody yet, ever in our show. But maybe in the next one, there could be a double. Ooh. <laughs> Never know. All right. Who's better? Eric Dyer or Van Dyke? Leo first. Eric Dyer. Eric Dyer. Quickly. Parker. Honestly, I, uh, according to this season, I don't know. They're both pretty bad. No, all time. All time. I mean, all time? God, Van Dyke. Sorry. Leo wins. Bye. Bravo, baby. I got the double back. Double. <laughs> Yay. 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 Van Dyke has won the Champions League, the Premier League, the FA Cup. <laughs> That's like that's like saying Timo Werner is better than Harry Kane because he won the Champions League. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Harry Kane that's is hyper. yeah too good. That type for little kids. Last question. We're gonna start with um the winner for this challenge, Parker. You mean Leo? <laughs> <laughs> if last you question, have to man. spend one month in a dark forest. What three things do you want to take with you? It could be anything. This is not just items. It could be anything. And you can even take Leo with you. Yeah. So first I'm going to take Romero. Um, I need uh, some, you know, some fight in me. I need some uh, somebody to help me. Um, what's the word? <laughs> Hunt the food. <laughs> yeah, tackle everybody. Oh, take the yeah, exactly. He tackle everything. So uh, he'd be... Uh, my buddy out there. And then I would uh, bring a flashlight and um, an un unlimited supply of matches. Yeah, you're dying. Hold on, you're cutting out. <laughs> oh, no, he's going to hunt for his food. Dehydration. Of, dehydration. Or unlimited amount What's of going on? <laughs> no, but you can hunt for the food. So that's what he said. <clears throat> yeah. Now, but also having Leo, two extra hands is really nice to help um, build, you know, shelter and stuff. True. Yeah, true, 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 true. Now, Leo. Same question. Yep. Same if I was, question, if I was gonna be, okay. Um, I would take my kids. I would take Bear Grylls, and I would take, um. Some good knives. Who? Knives. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm. I'm not. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be rude. But why would you take your kids to a dark forest? <laughs> oh yeah, that's who. So I wouldn't miss them. So I wouldn't miss them. Plus, it's gonna be okay because I'm gonna. I'm taking their grills with me, who's gonna show me how to survive in all of these environments, right? And oh. I'm gonna be able to have light for my kids. Right, and I'm not gonna miss them. I'm gonna be able to feed them because this guy's gonna show me how to do all that, and I'm gonna have a bunch of knives because I'm gonna need them to cut down trees and 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 hunt my hunt my food. You know what I mean? And protect my family. Skin skin the animals. <laughs> Whatever I need to do, I'll have a I'll have a sharp knife to do it, and a guy that knows how to do it to show me. And, and I'm gonna have dark. my kids there to teach them how to do it. It wouldn't be dark for too long because you'll have bear yeah. girls to like make some sort of light for you. I don't know how, but. Yep. But I have a flashlight. You don't have a flashlight. If I run into you in the dark forest, I'll just use yours. Got it. <laughs> I'm taking a survival camper, an unlimited supply of food, and free electricity. Well, what are you going to use the electricity for? Games. Yeah, I'm going to be able to plug nothing in, bro. <laughs> 
Good point, little okay. K. That's why I love you, buddy. I love you too, Leo. <laughs> You're gonna have all that electricity to, for what? To play your Xbox that you forgot at home? I don't have an Xbox. I brought it with me in my magic pack. Well, thank okay. you so much for taking the time to join us today. Can you let the people know where they can find you? Yeah, so Parker and I are, are um, Parker and I are, are Mile High Hotspur. Uh, we have a show every Thursday uh, podcast where we talk about all things Tottenham Hotspur. And um, yeah, you know, other than just popping up here, uh, we sometimes pop up on other shows. Um, and so, you know, normally if people watch the Three Spurs Boys, they 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 eventually watch us, and if they watch us, you know, likewise they eventually watch you guys. So, um, yeah. thank you guys for the opportunity to to come and chat with you guys. I enjoyed myself. The show link is in the description, so go over it and give them a subscribe. Sub, sub, subscribe? Yeah, subscribe. Thank <laughs> yeah. you for joining us. And don't run away. We do need to talk about some stuff mm. after this. Trip. Serious stuff. Very okay. serious stuff. You know, where's my money, mate? The boys? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, shit. I do owe you money. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you guys for joining us today, and well, remember what? Oh, okay. <gasps> no, that's a flop. Thank you guys for joining us today. I remember today is to do. So go for it! Come go on, you spurs! We sing in France, we sing in Spain, we sing in the sun, and we sing in the rain. They try to stop us, but look at the hit. We think we love most in being a kid. Being a kid, being a kid, the thing we love most is being a kid. Come on, you Spurs! <laughs>